so in this video I quickly would like to show you how we can build this basic body out of loft or skin surfaces alias calls it skin because we're skinning between profiles other programs call it loft it's pretty much the same so what we can do we click click shift left mouse button shift left mouse button shift left mouse button and <laughs> wah, wah, it doesn't work okay so what could be the reason um, I don't necessarily know 100% why but I noticed that actually if we skin circle to circle it works but if we skin for example circle to ellipse it doesn't work and I didn't really figure out what actually the problem was so I assume in this case maybe there might be some problems or this is maybe not intended um, but as I said there are always many ways that lead to Rome a circle can be represented by an ellipse by simply setting the minor and major axis to exactly the same so what I'm going to do copy and paste right mouse button and the middle alt key Oh no, actually, the right mouse button and control key, so it snaps to the curve center point. Okay, so and then those, uh, let's see, I think that's 1.5, so the this one here should be 3.1, 3.1, so it's slightly bigger, some minor major axis. Also, interesting note, if we select multiple objects, you see you have each one so editable. So even here now, I'm adjusting the minor major axis for the lower object. To prevent any confusion, those two I'm making invisible for the moment, so I'm hiding them. Let's go back to the skin. Shift, 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 shift. This worked pretty well. But the problem, as you can see, from the side and the front this bellies in a lot uh, this is a good example again to demonstrate that think about nerves and curves and surfaces always as being a stiff material it wants to straighten itself always out and we as designers create those profile curves and trying to bend the stuff into shape uh, and this doesn't work so but what we do we just break this one up into certain steps so for example click click that's the top one perfect straight transition cylinder and then this one this one and then shift this one is for example the next transition and maybe with shift I make it connect to there so for example this way now you see we have this nice body and uh, also again you know the nice thing is you can then move these parts and play and sculpt and explore that's a nice thing about alias you can even adjust for example the key point value or minor major axis so for example this one we set to six or two or four uh, just one warning if you go to a view where you look straight onto this thing and then we set this one to six <laughs> craziness four and watch this four so uh, perspective or top views are okay everything else don't change uh, the value for minor or major axis it's kind of interesting how it how the interface works so in this case this actually doesn't look too bad so um, here maybe we can see if maybe the surface fillet could work number one number two and that works nicely 
But what I don't like is actually, as you can see, here it's tiny, here it's bigger. So the radius is even. But if we set the construction type to chord, you see at least the top one is more straight. And in general, it feels that the distance is more even. So whenever you have the feeling that actually the transition or the fillet makes a big change from fat or white to skinny, narrow, uh, dump, for example, the radius and just go, go to chord. Hey, let's see what works maybe with uh, G2. It uh, looks nicer and softer. G3. Or for example, uh, chamfer, linear, terrible, G1, circular, tangent. Yeah, next. Uh, and there. See? That looks nice. Okay. Now, let's actually try to take a look at a different way how we can make that transition. So I go back to skin one and two. Nothing. One shift shift. Okay. And then there actually we're going to use the surface blend. So point one G two. Point 0.2 tangent. So from here, I would like G2 to pull out. So I click on the surface edge, not the ellipse. And there you have, for example, those sliders. So shape one, that's this one. You see the, the higher the number, the more the surface continues kind of like as a G2 profile and then it makes a transition into the G1 for this part. And we can do the same here. So besides working with these settings, you also can work how, for example, each side kind of like percentage wise influences more. Next, and let's take a look. And this also looks pretty nice. So you see how the circle makes transition. And again, you know, also here, for example, now we can select, for example, this one and say, be a two, and a two. There. So everything is nicely parametric we're adjustable with values afterwards. That's one of the reasons why I like actually working with the uh, key point curves because I have some um, influence on radius, degrees, and all the stuff, minor major axis. Of course, it only makes sense for something like where you need something round. So let's take a look at how we can, in an easy way, fix the bottom part. Step one, which could be easy, maybe planar. Maybe this one, build, okay. And then we can go to a surface fillet, number one, number two. Good play with the values, build. And there we are. Of course, this is flat. It's not necessarily really the most interesting shape. So what could be an alternative? Well, could create maybe something domed inside. So maybe let's try to take a look at it. Before I do anything, I'm going to save this one. Let's undo this one by clicking on the query, clicking on this one or click the surface, click the tool, undo all. It undid the effect or the feature, removed it. Let's delete this one. So I would like to have a transition. So what I'm going to do is, uh, where do I have my key there? There, 
alt click alt click maybe sketch this one out okay make another one maybe to there yeah and maybe one to there okay so the main reason was this is a really quick and dirty hack um, so for example you see this distance and this distance all that stuff is actually not ideal so actually uh, copy and paste I'm going to maybe scale this one there so I can use this one actually as a reference for this one to pull out to make it a little bit more even so uh, the minor axis 3 or oh, I'm getting close already 3.1 3.4 3.2 uh, yeah let's leave it at that point object you scale maybe till there yeah okay so now I can use this one and 2.5 perfect delete it Okay, this one I'm actually moving up a little bit or down. So, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the skin tool and say number one, number two, number three, and number four. And that's not a good idea. As you can see, it bellies out terribly. So not a big deal. We delete this one. So I could uh, maybe go to the skin again. Go from here to here to there. Okay, so I just created this arc. Okay. And um, maybe, oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, this one, maybe I move down a little bit because then I'm going to fill it. So this, I think, has now a planar surface. Okay, perfect. Because then blend, no, blend this edge to this edge and actually make each one go undo okay because um, it selected always the curve ellipse and invisible and ellipse and invisible so blend you to you yeah that's what I wanted so site 2 is there site 1 would like to be tangent there we see for example now how it it bellies everything out and and I keep it at tangent so let me show you now what I can do actually so I'm going to show all my curves again and this this profile curve here, this one, maybe I'm going to move down. So you see, actually, I, p I positioned my curve a little bit. And then the stuff didn't really look very good. And now I'm going to, to adjust all my profile curves so I can get nice, nice transitions. So if I move this one way too much in, this is terrible. If I move it too much out, it's uh, also <laughs> kind of ugly so maybe something like this is okay perfect so and the last thing maybe I have to adjust is 
this terrible transition. And we can do that with a surface fillet, number one, number two. Uh, dum -dum. There, uh, port, ooh. Uh, value seems to be really big. Okay, there it is now. Great. Uh, yeah, okay, build, let's keep it. Nothing, let's get out, close those windows. And let's take a look. So here, for example, on the highlights tools can be really nice to maybe appreciate your hard work. And again, small warning, this stuff is not 100% very precise. Stuff that looks shiny doesn't mean it's uh, the curvature is perfect, but yeah. So that was basically the process, how, for example, I would build all this simply out of lofts and then using the fillet and the blend commands and the planar surface to create those small transitions. And I hope you saw actually that there are multiple steps uh, or combinations how you can use these commands or tools. And sometimes you just have to trick around. And specifically with the bottom part, I would like to stress you saw, I didn't really know how the stuff would look like. So I tried to guess. Uh, and then afterwards, because everything is interactive, I can push and pull everything into space. So the surface I get is the one I want.